now that I have a uh, brand spanking new frequency controller on my uh, vintage cargo lathe it is finally time to finish uh, making this uh, drill chuck arbor I started this uh, project last summer but couldn't uh, complete it because it turned out there is a high spot in the uh, JT6 uh, taper and this got me uh, confused while uh, test fitting and as a result I uh, made the arbor here too small so even if I can uh, remove the high spot or the ridge inside this chuck it is uh, never going to fit anymore I bought this uh, drill chuck a while back it looks a lot like an American made uh, Jacobs drill chuck but uh, trust me it's uh, very Chinese it doesn't look bad though but uh, neither did this one same size maybe they come from the same factory anyway once uh, mounted I will uh, check the run out and uh, we'll see how good it actually is this chuck by the way has a B16 uh, taper and that's a little smaller than the uh, uh, Jacobs taper number 6 that's uh, on this chuck so once I get the uh, top slide set uh, to the correct angle skim off a bit of uh, material um, I should be able to get this uh, mounted at the moment this uh, wannabe uh, drill chuck arbor is securely glued to the uh, spindle nose it's just not coming off for that I need to make a uh, cross drilling jig so I can drill some holes for my um, hook spanner but you may know that my uh, attempts so far at making a cross drilling jig have not been very successful um, so I won't be able to set up a uh, B16 uh, tapered arbor between centers and use that as a reference to set up the correct angle on the uh, lathe stop slide so I've come up with a uh, different method to uh, set the uh, top slide to uh, more or less the uh, correct angle this lathe doesn't have a uh, carriage that can uh, move up and down the bed um, it is basically a big watchmaker's lathe at the moment I uh, disconnected the uh, cross slide from the bed and I'm using this piece of round stock to keep things in balance and I have set up this uh, extra compound slide that I bought for making a milling attachment something I haven't done so far but maybe I will one day who knows anyway this is uh, set up to push the uh, cross slides towards the headstock and according to uh, Wikipedia the uh, ratio of a uh, Morse taper 2 which is the same as a B16 taper is uh, 20 to 1 it's actually 20.02 uh, but to keep things a bit more simple I'll uh, forget about those uh, two extra digits one turn on the uh, compound slide uh, dial um, is uh, one millimeter so once I've uh, turned this uh, hand wheel here 20 times the uh, cross slide and obviously also the uh, top slide will have moved uh, 20 millimeter towards the headstock at the same time this dial here that is uh, referencing against the uh, side of the top slide should move uh, one millimeter I think I'm uh, pretty close so let's uh, turn this uh, 20 times and 20 I think that's pretty close if it's off a little I think I should be able to uh, paint and uh, polish things to a uh, correct fit so let's uh, cut this taper
before I uh, start turning this uh, taper and uh, mess things up beyond repair it would be nice to know how quickly uh, this lathe is running at uh, 50 Hz Okay. 425 after I did my uh, review video for this uh, small little frequency drive someone pointed out uh, parameter 21 and that should be the uh, uh, revolution at 50 Hz which is uh, currently set to 2800 and that should be uh, 425 So at 50 Hz the uh, display should now uh, display 425. And it does. Look at that. Beautiful. Now we can uh, safely turn a taper. Here we go. Maybe I should run this a little faster. I do want a uh, good finish. That's uh, probably more than enough for a high speed steel. Not a bad finish. I'm quickly going to do a test fitting. See if uh, I made a mistake and uh, the taper is somehow way off. Looks like it's <laughs> still way off. It's not even fitting. Could be better. Doesn't feel right. I think something's wrong. This uh, requires a little bit of uh, investigation. So I have uh, changed my setup here and now 20 millimeter that way should be half a millimeter on the uh, dial. 20. Well that's as close as I could get it. Let's see if I can still uh, save this uh, workpiece.
let's uh, test fit. Yeah, okay. So it looks like there is enough material. Let's uh, remove a bit more. I think I was running a bit too fast. There seems to be some welding of chip going on. I'm going to uh, touch up that uh, pointy bit again because I don't think it's uh, cutting just right. Could use uh, some polishing. I'll take another light cut and from there it's uh, sandpaper only. Maybe not. Cutting in uh, reverse sure didn't help for the uh, surface finish. Looks like there's a uh, room for uh, another cut. At least the taper is uh, not far off. All right, one more cut. I want the uh, chuck to sit a little closer to the uh, shoulder here. That didn't do much. I'm never going to get the uh, chuck to uh, sit flush against the uh, shoulder but I would like to be a little closer. So I'm going to take another cut, maybe a few more, but uh, I don't want to uh, bore you guys to death so I'll do that off camera. 
I think this is uh, close enough. I don't want to push my luck, but there should be uh, enough material left to do a little polishing and maybe uh, improve the fit. Now it's uh, time for my favorite part, finger painting. Damn, the chuck is cold. Not too bad. Not bad at all. The inside of this uh, chuck is definitely a little rougher than this arbor I turned but it should be okay I guess I hope we'll see I warmed up the chuck on a hot plate it's pretty toasty I had to uh, switch uh, gloves these are some kind of uh, gardening gloves and I hate gardening. If I had my way, I would uh, pour the whole garden full with green concrete and sell the lawnmower. Now I gotta come up with a way to uh, test this uh, creation. I almost forgot about the uh, run out test. Still pretty warm. How about it? You guys see any run out? I guess we need to dial in the gutter. I apologize for the uh, glare, but here we go. That's not bad. Hmm, less than a tenth of a millimeter. Very acceptable.
The best scraptonium available to man. I want to uh, test my new drill chuck, but before I can do that, I need to uh, set the uh, top slide to the uh, correct angle again. And for that, I need my uh, reference bar. That's uh, probably as good as I'm going to get it. I think that will be okay for drilling a hole. I prepared this uh, block of steel for some testing. And I'm planning to make it into a boring bar holder for this lathe. Um, I found out that there's a height difference between the uh, tool rest of this lathe and uh, the black one. So when I'm using the uh, boring bar holder that I made for the black lathe, the uh, tool bit sits too low. And this might have been the reason why I had so many uh, chatter issues. Yep, it's gone. When I made this uh, backing lathe for this uh, little four jaw chuck. Let's start drilling. As usual, I uh, didn't think this through. This is a 13mm uh, uh, chuck, but I want to drill a 16mm uh, uh, hole for my boring bar and uh, grooving tool. So it looks like I gotta come up with a uh, different uh, plan. Maybe uh, use the four jaw for drilling the holes. Well let's uh, load up the frequency drive a little bit more and uh, drill a 10 mm hole. Um, the uh, pilot hole is uh, only halfway uh, through this block of steel. So at some point it should get a little bit more difficult to drill. At the moment it uh, only draws 1.2, 1.3, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. I 
I ran out of a pilot hole and it's uh, getting a lot harder to drill now. I'm seeing spikes up to uh, 1.7 amps. Yes, the amps are going up. Time to empty the hole. I'm breaking through the uh, other side. Well this is where I'm stopping this video. I've got probably more than enough uh, footage to bore you guys for more than half an hour. I hope you guys uh, liked the uh, sound of the new frequency drive. Or should I say the uh, lack of uh, sound. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. But if you uh, missed the harmonic noise of the old Allen Bradley drive, rest assured I will fire it up again at some point. Um, now I gotta come up with a way to uh, finish this uh, boring bar holder, but I'll do that uh, off camera. But who knows, you probably might see it again in a future video. Uh, to be continued.